Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some private selection cookies. These are huge cookies. Cool. Uh, they're so, not super thick, but they're big around. They're, yes, they're great big around. These are white chocolate macadamia nut cookies. Uh, turtle brownie cookies, and these are harvest apple, spiced apple pie cookies. So these were $5.99 a package. You get five cookies for $5.99. Yeah. And the harvest apple, they're doing a whole theme at Kroger yeah. right now um, where they yeah. have a lot of ice cream drinks and coffees and granola pancake mix they have all kinds of cookies all kinds of stuff other cookies sandwich cookies with a cheesecake and then Snack these eggs. these are at the bakery yeah uh so uh this is the white chocolate macadamia nut it says white chocolate chunks and macadamia nuts it's a 12.3 ounce package there are 10 servings in the container, but you only get half a cookie for that serving. So half a cookie is 200 calories. And it says these are baked, fresh baked in the store. Oh, cool. So yeah. That's cool unless you see a gorilla back there baking. <laughs> okay. So I was telling somebody the other day, um, well, not the other day, but I was call. I left a comment for somebody that um, the uh, Kroger and Walmart both used to, and I don't know if they do this now. But when Andrew and Ashley were little, they would give them a free bakery cookie if they, every time yeah. they came in. Yeah, can we have the free cookie? But you have to go up to the bakery counter, and you'd have to say she would like her because she Ashley like Ashley would be in the front of the buggy. Um, in the little seat and you'd have to say she would like her free cookie please and so you would get a free cookie but I mean it was a, a nice soft yep, fresh nice cookie, cookie. Yeah. and yeah usually a chocolate chip or something like yeah, that yeah and then, then that she would be eating that the whole time we were going through yeah. the store and sometimes she wouldn't even finish it I don't know before we left yeah, yeah. so did you finish it or? no usually she just threw it away oh, okay. she was that kind of kid you know uh, but the um, what's funny is she got to know the one of the ladies at the bakery she Nick always Kroger, saw her. Yes. yeah and so the woman we would we would pull the buggy up and the woman would come around and say hello and here's here's the cookie do you and, remember her name no i don't i remember what she looked like but i think it was june that sounds right. and i think yeah. her name was june anyway that was pretty but cool. yeah it was neat to get to know her because we were constantly in now her. i know they have free vegetables i mean uh, free fruits at they do they have uh, apple and bananas and stuff kids can grab an apple on yes or, and i think we've seen that at whole foods too yeah but uh, yeah, I don't know if they do the free cookie anymore. Somebody can let us know. I'd rather the cookie than a banana. Mm-hmm. As a kid. Mm-hmm. Well, as an adult, dude. Hmm. That is a nice cookie. Mm-hmm. I love the sweetness of that. And and you get the crunch of the macadamia nuts. I don't really I don't really taste the macadamia nuts necessarily, but very buttery. Mm-hmm. Nice. It's incredibly sweet. Um, I don't necessarily, I mean, you taste a hint of macadamia. Really, you're just tasting mainly the, I think, the, getting the sweetness from the white chocolate mm. chips. It's very good. But it is a very sweet, buttery cookie. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the texture, too, because it's kind of, it's not really soft in the middle, but it's got, um, it's it's a softer crunch. It's not a hard cookie you're biting into. Um has a nice little crispy edge to it in the outside. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. um, I would buy it any time. Those are really that, nice. Imagine that if you put it in the microwave for a couple seconds. Yeah, it probably wouldn't soften it, but it might just warm it up. I, it I, melt the chips a little bit. would get that any time. Yeah, I really think good. if you like white chocolate macadamia, that is an excellent cookie. I think if you just like a really sweet cookie um, and don't even care one way or the other about macadamia, you'll still like it. I do too. Because I you, mean, you can't hate macadamia because you can't taste them. But if you don't care one way or the other about the macadamia, that's a good thing. Yeah, because it's really not strong. You're really just, it's adding texture to yeah. it. I mean, I get a little bit of an aftertaste of that nuttiness, but not, not strong. This is turtle brownie, fudgy caramel and crunchy pecan brownie morsels. 160 calories for high. There's nothing in that description. For the best. Okay. They're pretty well, um, um, what would you call them? Stocked, not stocked, um, filled. They're not filled. 
Yeah, that's a good, good size boogie. Huge. Absolutely. But I mean, it's got all kinds of stuff going on. Yes. Um, Are those little it. caramel pieces? That's what it looks like. It's little caramel balls or it's something. It says fudgy caramel. Yeah, so caramel. And crunchy pecan brownie morsels. Yeah, that looks like... That's a little soft in the middle. Look, see that little darker... Oh, yeah. It's it's soft in the middle with, um, with like a little crunchy outside. It's hard to believe they're baking these in the store. Mm-hmm. Mm. That literally has like a brownie texture. Mm -hmm. That's good. The chocolate's a little dark. Um, not bitter, just, just a darker chocolate. It's not as sweet as the macadamia one is. I love the chewy texture. Mm -hmm. And you get the pecans. The pecans mm -hmm. aren't a really, really crunchy pecan. But... You do get that, and I do like the chewiness of the, the caramel. The oh, texture is wonderful. Yes, it, the, the texture of it is, is classic brownie. It's just, it's a very, very thin brownie. I do, I wish the only thing was that it was a little thicker. Yeah. Because it reminds me, if you've ever bought the, um, the uh, brownie thins, the crisp, I think they're Sheila G's brownie yeah. like brittle things. It's not much thicker. Um, these cookies aren't much uh, thicker than that. Yeah, but those are really crunchy. Those are very, very, very crunchy. So, but it has honestly the same flavor. It has a very similar dark, dark Very, very similar flavor. flavor to those. It's just that this is a chewy cookie and those are really, really crispy. I love the, I love the uh, chewiness of it. Now, I do have to say, I got the taste of the pecans. Didn't really taste the caramel much because I think the chocolate is just so strong. I do too. I yeah, think I didn't really get caramel. Yes, you're getting more of the chocolate brownie flavor than mm -hmm. you are the caramel. I the, still like it though. The white chocolate macadamia, Kevin's probably right about that. It probably wouldn't necessarily help it to heat it in the microwave. I do think it would make that one better to heat it in the microwave. Yeah, maybe it might make it a little less chewy. Although I, that's my favorite part is the chewy. I know, but I think it would make it chewier. Maybe. I think it would actually accentuate that yeah. and make it even better. It would soften the caramel chips up too. That's what I mean. So I think I think it would be uh, terrific yeah. if you heated it up. Uh, now this one is the this one is limited edition. The other two I guess are around all the time. We have the limited edition Harvest Apple Spiced Apple Pie Cookies, and it says uh, half a cookie is 170 calories, or the whole cookie. Is 340 calories. Makes sense. And so the That's other for people that don't want to add the 170. <laughs> right. The, well, the other ones didn't have it written like no. that. And I guess because this is limited edition or newer packaging. The um, but I, I could not resist this because it has like chunky. It, it looks, does look kind of chunky. It looks very chunky, but it's huge. The only thing Kroger has um, different than these cookie wise that I really like is they have about the same size, but they do sell some that are thicker. Does it smell good? It smells like I can smell the apple. Yeah, you can smell it. It kind of smells like an apple butter kind of. Which ones? Oh, I know the ones you're talking about. They're really thick. Yes. And almost like oh, almost look like cake. <laughs> yeah. Well, if we ever saw anything new, I think we've reviewed a couple of those way, way back. If yeah. you ever saw anything new, we would try them. Yeah. Hey, right, there's all kinds of little apple chunks in there. Mm-hmm. Hmm. It didn't give a description like the other ones did. No, it's like a it's it's a very similar cookie base. It may be act be actually the exact same base as the macadamia nut one. Mm-hmm. But instead of mixing macadamias and, and uh, white chips, they just mix these little apple cubes in there. Mm -hmm. They're and very it's got a little, chewy. A little bit of um, do you get cinnamon just a mm -hmm. touch? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not a lot, but a little bit. They um, the apple pieces themselves are very chewy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not quite gummy chewy, but but they are very dense and chewy. You do chew mm -hmm. them a little bit, and when you're eating them by themselves, they're actually not that pleasant to eat because they're kind of. They're too tough, mm -hmm. but eating it with the cookie and everything else, they're not as bad. Mm -hmm. I, I like it. 
my favorite thing about them is the texture. Mm -hmm. Texture number one, flavor number two. And sometimes that happens for me. I just like the texture so much that... So you like that chewy? Well, it's not just... It, if it was just that chewiness, but it's not. You get lots of lumps and chunks. And They're you also... Crispy. Yeah, you also get crispiness mm -hmm. too. And I agree. And that's what it is. It's that whole chewy and crispy and mm -hmm. chunky. It's that whole mouthfeel of it. That's what um, I was saying. By itself, the apple pieces are, are not, I mean, I can still eat them, but they're very, very chewy. But mm -hmm. if you can get it all together, it's really nice. And it's really nice. Mm -hmm. um, it's not one that I would buy all the time because the flavor's okay. It's not a bad flavor. Mm -hmm. I do get the apple and yeah. I, there and is some the sweetness there. Yeah. Um, but, it, uh, it's just not a flavor I would want all the time. And I think it is because of the apples. Right. But the, I think the sweetest one out of these three, um, we have the harvest apple. The oh, the macadamia apple for sure. Yes. That's what I'm going to say too. I think out of these three, the macadamia is definitely the sweetest. Well, and you get that buttery kind of sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. It's just overall sweeter. Yeah. And so which one, uh, which one? I think I know your favorite. The macadamia nut one. Oh, okay. I yeah. thought you would pick the now, turtle. No, the, the turtle's second because it is a darker chocolate. But mm. the, no, I, I just a super sweet cookie. I, I really like that. Although I really like, I like all three of them. There's not one I would turn down, honestly. I wouldn't turn it down. If they were, if I went to the store and they were out of two and they had the other one, I would buy the other one. You know, it's just, it, but it really, these would really depend on what kind of mood I'm in more than anything. Am I wanting something a little more savory with the cinnamon and the apple? Do I want something really, really sweet with the macadamia? Do I want something chewy and chocolate? You know, it's just really... Which do you think is the least sweet? Probably the brownie one. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I Although would... it's pretty sweet. I don't know. Maybe it's the apple one would be the least sweet. I don't know. It's kind of borderline. It's, yeah, one. it's kind of between these two. I think the mac... I agree with Kevin. The macadamia is the sweetest for me, too. And that is my favorite as well. Yeah. Like, if I went and bought another package, I would buy a package of that. It, it almost reminds you of the flavor of shortbread. With the butteriness in it. Because it's so buttery. Yeah. Um, but for five ninety nine, It's a good deal. It's a good deal. You're getting five cookies. Yeah, and it's a little more than a dollar a cookie. Yeah, and I, I absolutely think it's worth it. Because yeah. these are these are really nice quality cookies. Counting on, you, you usually, at other cookie places, you spend uh, uh, almost $4 for a cookie that for price. Yeah, a piece. Yeah. So I, I do think this yeah, is a, a good piece. Yeah, a piece. Four dollars for each. Yeah, cookie. each cookie, not just the whole package. Yeah. This is a five cookies for five ninety nine. Yeah. So um, if you have not tried uh, the Kroger brand cookies, the private selection, I would give it a shot. Yeah. At least our bakery does a good job. Of them. Yeah, they really <laughs> do. So I will have a picture for you at the end. And thanks for watching.